So uh, players in position, umpires just making sure that... Uh, Tars all the going to centre half forward. So it's back on the he's ground, on the and ground. Uh, that's probably important for them. They probably need a bit of size, and probably size-wise, Belpo still are uh, over head and shoulders above Werribee, aren't they, Dale? Yeah, no, it's. Uh, it, I suppose Werribee have always been known to be a big side, but out there today, other than one or two, your, your Belpo still uh, players a weekly match there, and I see Parker's also pushed forward with Hardy going into the centre as well. No, so sorry, they've got their three good crummers there. Nathan Lewis has gone on the half forward flank and Wells is let's allow Wells into the middle. So to get us underway in the last quarter is Dale Smith. Last quarter about to start here at Golden Park and the ball's gone in the air. Holiday again with body underneath, does a good job, protects the ball, but it comes down, it's picked up by Simmons. Simmons gets a quick kick, and he goes five metres, but it goes to Gillum. He plays on with hands to Mabry and back to Gillum. He runs inside 50, and you can put your glasses down here. This will go straight through the middle, and it, it has. Does. And that's a great start by the coach there from the Werribee side. Chris Gillum puts the 13th goal on the board, and they now move to 13-13. They lead Belpo still 11 goals, 9, and that's taken less than 30 seconds to kick that first goal. And that was tremendous quick play and run on play by Chris Gillam Laurie. Yeah, look, he's a sensational leader, there's no doubt about that, but you're a little bit more braver than me. I wouldn't have said put your glasses down from there because uh, I have seen him miss them, but, uh, you know, I'll uh, mention that when we talk to him after. You've got a lot of faith uh, in the coach. He's actually in on ball, Laurie. He's not at centre-half back at the moment, so uh, that's interesting. Yeah, well, he, well, I think he's uh, saved himself in half back. He's getting a bit of a dip. Yeah, I think he'll finally run this game out pretty strongly. So uh, the boys have done a fair bit of work in there for him. And uh, we're going back on the centre of the ground now. Ball goes in the air. Holiday jumps early. No one that takes possession or wins the contest, but it's cleaned up and tapped forward again by Holiday. Wells comes through, takes possession, quick kick forward. But in front, Kennedy drops the mark. Unfortunate there, but now he gets the handball back. Thwaites runs in support with him. It's on the half-back flank. He looks to kick the ball to the centre wing. He looks up and goes in that direction. Mabry leads Urquhart under the ball. Wells comes through. Good body from That's them. The Clears it up from Urquhart. He goes in the left foot with a short kick. Back towards the centre position. And Hardy sees the ball over the boundary line. We've just pushed forward to the centre. Bell post till are in attack. That's what, our marginally. That's what our foot is all about, Laurie. Good football. Put them. your body in. Both wanting the footy. So the ball centre wing comes back into play. A minute and a half into the uh, final quarter. I would have thought the free kick to uh, Clayton, and it is, as uh, he was pushed clearly. I, I thought the holidays uh, been lucky to get away with a few uh, infringements in the ruck contest, but uh, that's what it's all about. The mark taken at centre half back by Kazuna. Where have no numbers back there? As the ball back to the middle, Gillum puts the contest on. Picked up by Parker at the back of the pack. Kicks towards centre half forward. Big pack there. The Tar flattened one of his own uh, teammates there in the marking contest, but the handball comes back to Parker. His kick's gone uh, right across the ground with the bruise. Oh, great courage and great rooting of the ball there by Simmons. Goes out wide, looking for uh, Beck. The uh, kick on the full doesn't reach him and doesn't bounce well for him, but they've done well, the uh, Werribee defence. They've put pressure on the kicker going forward for Belpost Till, and it's over the boundary line. Just uh, inside the 50-metre arc where it meets the boundary line, Almost three minutes gone, final quarter, 91 plus 75. Werribee Central's kicking with the aid of uh, quite a firm breeze here as the uh, boundary umpire now puts the ball into play. Holiday with strength, tries to uh, use it, but uh, Gillam, beaten on that occasion by Hardy, gets the ball to half forward. Oh, right courageous mark, mark by Parker. Running with the flight of the football. Josh Basley, I think. Oh, I beg your pardon, it is Josh Basley. Fantastic mark. And... Uh, He's done very well. Man on the mark oh, with that bruise might almost be beyond uh, Josh. He is a goal kicker. He's already got three today. Uh, this will take a very good kick. He is a good kick of the ball. Basically now moves in. He's kept it low into the bruise. Not going to make the distance, but it, oh, almost a mark there. But uh, Swates does well. Handball to uh, Gillum. His long kick out of the uh, defensive area. Over the head there of uh, Furman. Running with the flight of the footy was uh, oh, good Cam play, Camilleri Jody. gets a, a ball to Chug he's inside 50, he goes goalward Brendan Chug, the breeze is bringing it back, yeah. oh, I reckon it's over those players, goal umpire says yes it is, so Brendan Chug kicks his third goal and that's a, a terrific start to the final quarter for the Werribee Central side, two goals to nothing in the first four minutes, it's taken them out of 14 13 97. They lead Bell Post till 11-9-75, yet to score in the final quarter. 
Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard, as I mentioned, four minutes gone. Yeah, well, that uh, breeze is a big advantage as a player in here. Rizal would use his body, get the player under the ball, and uh, just turn around and run onto it. And uh, once it gets in this hot spot here, mate, I don't want to be down there at the back, the back half when that's on. Uh, when the ball comes in clock quickly, it doesn't give you much of an opportunity. The game, they, no one, none of the Ruckman touch the ball, and it comes down quickly with Holiday cleaning the ball up. It's gone forward. Lewis gets quick hands out to Wells again, running forward. It's gone. Great tackle there by Matt Shannon. Wells cleans, picks up the ball again on the ground. He kicks the ball forward. The Mark's taken a handball over to Parker. Handball over the top to Morland. Morland, Morland in the goal square, and he kicks a goal, a much needed goal for the Bell Post Hills side. Chris Morland for his first goal of the afternoon. And that moves them on to 12 goals, 9. Bell Post Hill, Trail, Werribee, 14 goals, 13. And again, five minutes gone. So plenty of time for the Bell Post Hill side. If they can keep knocking the ball forward, they give themselves a chance. You should be a coach, Laurie, suggesting they run the ball and keep <laughs> playing on and uh, they get the resulting goal. Yeah, that, look, that was a good football. Lad. It was a good finish, uh, and that's what you've got to do. Maybe the wind's dropped a little bit, I'm not sure. Well, two important touches there oh, too, mate, he's... he's He's done well. We saw another game before you were on board with us, I think. It was at Belmont when he went in the middle and he blitzed them. So back in the middle, umpire, five and a half minutes gone, final quarter. Two goals, to one so far. Uh, where of his favour? Uh, Clayton in front to Gillam. Went without it. Furman picks up the crumb to Hardy, to Wells by hand, and Wells uh, kicks it towards half forward. Tar was, oh, gee, he's paid the mark, but uh, Play no reckon he's caught. Cool. They reckon he held on to it and he turns around, kicks the full forward. Oh, there's uh, young Morland uh, just Bad edged luck. his opponent out, tries to uh, kick the ball through, and it is a rush behind to Bell Post Hill. 12 10 82. They trail Werribee Central 14 13 97. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard, six minutes gone. Yeah, Kennedy. Chris Dill had to be uh, dirty on himself there. He took his eye off the ball. Kennedy to bring the ball back into play. He goes long, brings it outside 50, fast, centre wing. Tar in front, ball by Thwaites from behind. Wells again takes the possession of the ball. Kicks round the corner, going forward into the forward line for Bell Post Hill. And the mark's been taken, this time on the far side. And yep. it's just inside the 50 metre zone. He kicks the ball, I think it was Fursland. Fursland brings the ball back towards the centre of the ground, looking for Popovsky. It misses him, it's just in the corridor now. Will Urquhart runs under the ball, quick hands, finds Bakley, back to Urquhart, spins back under the right foot, crosses back over 50, short kick in, looking for and finding Boya. And he would be probably 20 metres out, he's on a bit of an angle, but this should be another goal for the Bell Post Hill side. Wade Boya. Hasn't had a lot of the footy today, Wayne? It was a good kick by Will Urquhart, took his time, settled himself down, had the time, and the players around him provided that space for him. Wade Bayer, not, not, not sure whether he's a goal kicker or not, but this is gettable for a black bloke of his calibre. He goes in, oh, but I unfortunately he's, it, he? he's gone to the right-hand side yep. and has missed. Bell Post Hill move on to 12 goals, 11. They still trail the Werribee side, 14-13. They've gone seven and a half minutes. Last quarter, Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard. That's a bad miss for a bloke of his experience, Laurie, in, yep. in the context. Well, and captain of the side as well. Yeah. You need to nail him. It's a bit like that goal from Belmont Lions last week, yeah, you know, it's exactly a job like that. Similar thing. Kennedy now goes for the uh, short kick, has uh, found a teammate on the halfback flank, Mabry, kicks towards centre wing. Up high, players go for the mark, comes to the front of the pack, Urquhart once again, feeding the crumbs. Just uh, hooks it around the body, Wells might have lost that in the sun, but picked it up quickly, goes towards half forward. Players uh, overrun the football, now there's... Uh, well, play on. Play on, Mabry. Long kick to half forward, well underneath it was Welsh and uh, Chug comes in, makes a contest. But uh, numbers with uh, Bell Post Hill, but uh, Chug does well, comes back, gets it to Welsh. Now Bell Post Hill have the numbers. Oh, sheer strength, Holiday. Handball over the top there of Hardy. He's got two to beat, including uh, Thwaites and Shannon. Thwaites does well, gets a handball, looking for, uh, for Stuka. Goodness me, the Bell Post Hill side are running in numbers and uh, really putting some pressure on that uh, Werribee defence in this last quarter. And at the eight and a half minute mark, the umpires put a whistle on play 30 metres out directly in front of that Werribee goal. And uh, oh gee, they're defending very, very hard at the moment. Ball in the air. 50-50, the tap down from the uh, Ruckman. Picked up by Wallace. Wallace now towards the band. I think that's all he's looking for. And uh, he's uh, been successful. The ball drifts toward and over the boundary line. The ball will be thrown in. Half forward flank for 
Valpo still kicking against the breeze in the final quarter to the northern end. 14, 13, 97, Werribee. 12, 11, 83, Valpo still nine and a half minutes gone. Ball's been thrown in. It's gone back over the boundary line and we brought in same position. I don't think Nathan Lewis was travelling too well out there. He's holding around on that ankle yeah, again, I think. So I, think, uh, I noticed that earlier. Yep. Ball comes back in. Clayton wins possession, takes a touchdown. Comes to Parker, who's tackled high and will win a free kick there. Just a bit high from Shannon. Both... Uh, Parker and Beck had a few uh, push and a shove before, but uh, playing on each other now. Across the half-back line, half-forward line. Here goes the ball back inside. Kazina's pushed down the ground again. The play on play from Belpo still finds Furman. Back to Kazina. Not much benefit there, but the ball's kept moving. Tar underneath oh. the ball, but a good strong mark of defence by Chris Gillum. Chris Gillum, yes, it was. You're right there. You read, yes. read that well. Yeah, he's a good player back there. I don't mind him back there. He goes wide, finds Mabry. Mabry's directing talent players to push forward. Now he brings the ball into his left side and comes down the centre of the ground. Chug, now it's Camilleri in front. Ball beats him over the boundary line. No, it was Chug. I was right in the first place. And it's over in the centre wing. True centre wing, just in front of the broadcast box here at the Gelvin Park. That was a good kick, Dale, because he had nothing to kick to, and he's, he's going 50 metres, and uh, Taken, they, haven't, they haven't lost possession as such. Taken possession and cleared the area. That's the main thing, isn't it? So they've got a bit of ground. Now Balpo still looking to bring the ball back in. There's a bit of a push and a shove, and the free kick has been won by Holiday in the ruck with a hand over the shoulder by Clayton. Holiday goes into the right, runs to the centre or towards the centre, kicks shortly, finds Popovsky, who's in the true centre position. He now pushes forward, looking for Basley. He takes the weary player underneath the ball. Fursland comes through, takes the ball forward. Morland picks the ball up cleanly. Now he has to get the ball out, but unfortunately... He's oh, been a free kicker. That was an important uh, mis uh, mistake there. That's, they had the numbers at the reckon, footy there. I reckon the young, the young, inexperienced kid yep. went the wrong way. Should have let the bloke going to the goal take the footy. Yeah, good point, Eric. Free kick there. It's been awarded to Simmons, and he's gone wider and found Kennedy. Kennedy's now driven the ball to the far centre wing. Clayton's made some good ground in position, and he goes forward up the ground further. Unfortunately, this time, the ball has gone out of bounds. And it's just inside the 50 metre zone for the Werribee side. Now an attack. Poor kick for the big fella, was. Yeah, it certainly was. But just going back to that one of them all in there, there was a fine line between, uh, you know, he just went the wrong way, as you said. And uh, because they had numbers there, there was four guys there at the footy. They would have got a certain goal there. He's, a, skill he's a skillful kid. He probably could have come to his left-hand side. So, but anyway, he'll learn from that, hopefully. And he's going to be a good player of the future. So let's hope he keeps going. The ball's been pushed up and Walsh has run onto the ball with a handball back from Norton, I think it was, and he's had a shot on goal, but it's gone across to the left-hand side and he has missed the goals. Matt Walsh, not as accurate as he was last week there, Laurie, but uh, still having plenty of shots on goal. 14-14 now the Werribee side. They lead Belpo still 12-11. And we've gone 12 minutes. Final so, quarter, <laughs> Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard. So 15, min 15 points the difference at the 12-minute uh, mark, as Dale alluded to. Popovsky decides to go short. Dangerous Ooh. move, and uh, it is dangerous yeah, because... Shannon. Well, Shannon's not paid the mark. I would have thought uh, very close to Mark Hamble. Walsh overruns the footy. Bit suspect at ground level, I reckon. Oh, Shannon <laughs> gets ridden into the ground. Picked <laughs> up right. by Kick Corey the goal. Wallace. Kick the and, goal, uh, Corey. Well, where's he going to go? It gets uh, nearly flattened now. They're coming from everywhere as the handball comes to Welsh. Hooks it around the body. It's not going to get the distance. There's oh, Mark. the only player who uh, had any eyes for the football was Matt Watt. And, uh, and, 50. and he's got a 50-metre penalty as well. I don't know quite uh, what transpired there, but he's just ooh, casually has uh, popped it over the goal umpire's head. So that's his second goal for the day. And that uh, isn't a good sign for Belpas Hill because that uh, goal wasn't necessary or wasn't needed, certainly. 15 14, 104 Werribee Centrals, 12 11 83 Belpas Hill. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard, 13 minutes gone. And uh, he was the only player in the pack, Laurie, that wanted the footy. Yeah, well, he was about third up, actually, yeah, to get it. And uh, he, it was a nice mark there. But they, they, I think it was a bit of panic mode there from uh, Werribee. They wanted to buy a goal badly and uh, they just couldn't win. Corey went one way, Corey Wallace went one, back the other way, uh, turned it over with a handball. Uh, Cl Clayton didn't know where to kick it. <laughs> and with players now recommenced back in the centre, it's a quick handball, or it's tapped out here, and Stuka's run onto the ball. He drives the ball wide, Simons has run onto the ball on the centre wing, goes right, then back left, turns forward. 
and has gone forward. Fans Welsh over the top. Oh. Matt Shannon continues to run. And Laurie, you can put down your glasses. Oh, no, you better not say that too loudly. I've done a mistake there. I've got the wrong one down there, mate. But the ball has gone out of bounds. I think it might have gone around in the full. That's yeah. how far he's missed it by. So I won't be calling him anymore, I don't think. But normally a player of his calibre would not yeah. miss those goals. So and, and, and uh, no pressure. Especially Dale, a rover. Rovers don't yeah. miss those, no, do they? they don't. Not when they're running in the goal like that. Not anyway, we reckon that he... Uh, Deep in the back line here, and we've got Hammond to relieve some pressure, hopefully, for the Bell Post Hill side. He plays on, gets round the man the mark, brings the ball outside 50. Holiday and Clayton in possession or in contact there with each other. Balls come to the ground. It's picked up by Mabry, but he's tackled by three Bell Post Hill players. They're not going to let him go. I think they want to take him right over the fence here at the minute, but uh, Bumpire says that'll be enough and bring the ball back to me. So we have the Ruckman going at the, in the uh, centre call of the contest here. Ball up, Hammond again with strength, but Clayton, good palm down left. Now he gets a quick left foot, doesn't even put hand to ball, but gets a quick fo forward. Norton clean, picks up the ball, goes forward. What a gain in front, but he's overrun the ball. Marinovic kicks the ball off the ground, straight into the hands of Wallace. Wallace to Chug, Chug in the goal square, and he kicks a goal. Brendan Chug, from four metres out, has kicked the goal on the right foot, and that's his fourth for the afternoon. He now takes the Werribee score along to 16-14. They lead Bell Post Hill. 12 goals, 11. 15 minutes gone. Final quarter, Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard. Those last two goals in a minute, Laurie, it uh, almost started to put the nails in the coffin for Bell Post Hill. They didn't need those two goals. Yeah, it, it certainly does. And, and it come from good school again. Good handball from Corey Wallace here to, to set that up. There was no, certainly no panic in that uh, forward movement. And... Uh, yeah, look, once it gets in the hot spot, she's pretty hot there today and uh, something's going to happen. Usually it's going to happen with the side kicking with the breeze. It's a fair sign for Werribee in the fact that uh, Brendan Chug is finding a bit of touch. He, he is the team captain. Yep. And uh, he, he's played a better game today than I've seen him play oh, uh, this, this year. This is far his best game for the season, Eric. There's no doubt about that. He was uh, awful in the last games I've seen and I can't say any other way. So 16 minutes gone, final quarter. 27 points the margin now. It's uh, blown out very quickly for Werribee as the ball put in the middle. And uh, Clayton is starting to dominate in this last quarter. Handball comes out to Shannon. He uh, chips it over the top to Roland Beck. Beck takes the mark on centre wing. Thought about steadying it down there. Decides to go to half forward. Mark almost to Chug. No, that's the, that's the, the, uh, the free kick of the week because I just noticed the umpire then chopping of the arm was the indication yeah. he gave him there. These things, they weren't being called in recent weeks. I'd, I'd say that without hesitation, well, Laurie. Well, that was a, a very slight chop, too. Yeah. You know? I, mean, I, think, I think they must have the league umpires down because they've obviously been pretty tough on it here today and they've obviously been told to, to uh, keep an eye on it. Anyway, the ball's gone forward now and Kazina has picked up the ball. He's gone with a shorthand ball but hasn't seen the Norton. ball post hill target. But Norton's come through, cleaned the ball up and he has kicked another goal for the Werribee side. Werribee now move on to 17 goals, 14. They lead Bell Post Hill, 12 goals, 11, and we've gone 17 minutes. Yeah, final I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure what the player was in there, whether it was a bit, uh, the big fella there, but someone was a bit of sloppy handball. Marinovic there. and uh, Kazina. It was they, pretty sloppy. They tried to handball, and I think the Werribee players put a bit of pressure on, but uh, you know, they've broken it open now, uh, Werribee Centrals, and... Uh, it's a very good burst in this, this few minutes for them. Yeah, and it's probably knocked the wind out of uh, Bell Post Hill sales too, Eric. Uh, they, were, they were going quite well, and uh, when Werribee got that goal they needed there before, I think this might have really dinted their uh, enthusiasm. Well, the first goal was against the run of play, but I think the last four have been uh, just good, solid uh, contribution from the Werribee side. Back in the middle, 18 minutes gone, final quarter, and the ball goes in the air once again. This time a holiday down to Wells. Wells high in the air. It's towards half forward. Uh, Gillum puts a uh, defensive tap on the ball. Goes to Simmons. A long handball from Simmons. It's gone out to Dean. He's uh, got it to Shannon. Shannon, he's uh, corralled. I think they call it these days. But uh, finds Norton with a lovely kick. Norton now inside 50 very quickly. Chug up high. Now, that no, was a fruit. Yeah. No, I think he hit him on the neck that time. Yeah, no, no I agree there too, so, <clears throat> You know, I haven't got any problem with that one. As to, So, Brendan Chug has the free kick, and we've got three-quarter time scores, all other games, GDFL. Bannockburn, 21-10, Inverlee, 6-3. North Geelong, 17-13, East Geelong, 5-4. As the umpire, so, the man on the marks had something to say no. to him, and uh, a 50-metre penalty, so... No, I think it was someone off the mark, Eric. Yeah, he looked over in the middle of the ground. OK. To a player. So regardless of uh, how or why, it is a 50-metre penalty. 
You can put down goal number five for Brendan Chug without uh, any fear of contra contra uh, controversy here. As uh, they can't, they got too many men on the mark, too many within five metres. Uh, they're breaking all the rules, but uh, Chuggy has kicked the goal. Goal number five to uh, Brendan Chug, and that's the 18th for the Werribee Central side. 18, 14, 124. They lead Belpo still 12, 11, 83. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. 19 and a half minutes gone. Just repeating those three quarter time scores. North Geelong 17, 13, East Geelong 5, 4. Belmont Lions 6 4, Thompson 24 4, 24 14. Winchelsea 15 11, Carrio 9 12. And the close one is out at Anarchy. Anarchy 13 13, Geelong West 13 5. Going to the Cheetahs. I didn't know how to call them that anymore, are you? <laughs> no. West. So this now becoming, Laurie, a good performance by Werribee. They're uh, able look, to finish it off. And, and more to the point, uh, we're, uh, Belpost still have got to find a bit here because they're gonna, they will meet in the finals, these two teams, and uh, you can't be a, a, a allow them to run over the top of you. Ball back in the centre now, and Clayton again with hands on ball. Wins the ball, and it goes forward. Kevin Leary coming through. Doesn't take possession, but the ball's now taken by Festuca, and he's besieged <laughs> by three or four Belpost still players. And I think Nathan will be looking to, for the decide to finish off the quarter here he's obviously left the ground but he want the uh, team to get together and make sure they finish this game strongly well thank you picked it Dale. i think that ankle's been uh, worrying him a bit yep definitely has anyway clayton wins possession again it goes forward and taken by Furman out of the air but he's tackled again and it's come forward we've moved the ball another 10 or 15 meters but uh that's as far as it's going to go before the umpire says i'm going to ball it up what, what's that stone about the big blokes they don't get any shorter clayton's having a field day yeah, he is now moment, and because uh, he's so tall he's uh quite six inches tall and anyone else out on the ground there you can push and shove all day but if he's tall you're going to wear you down this time holiday pulls him underneath the ball and he gets the ball down but shannon takes possession but a high tackle by parker and shannon wins a free kick he goes quickly by foot finds simmons simmons moves the ball on quickly again going forward looking for what what in the forward pocket take possession but it's bell post still take possession through nick poposki handballs casina back oh, to no. poposki but a poor handball to his credit he's worked hard to get back on possession but uh we're not going anywhere, but David Poposti says, I'll come in and take take possession of it now. A poor kick goes out, and the ball is picked up on the far side by, Col uh, by uh, Corey Wallace. Chips the ball to Matt Welsh, and he's taken a mark. He's 40 metres out directly in front. The big fella's going to come and have a rest. He reckons he's done his bit for the day. He's worked pretty hard in the centre there today, Dean Clayton, and has been good, a good player for them, actually. Matt Welsh, let's hope he's got the right kicking boot on this one to give himself another goal to finish this game out. Comes in, gets to 45, it's a high kick. Umpire's going back and across, looks up the post and says, no, that's no good again. He now has his fifth behind for the afternoon. Where we move on to 18 goals, 15. Bell post till 12-11. And we've just crossed 22 minutes, final quarter. Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard. So Poposki to bring the ball back into play once again and uh, Werribee uh, putting on the zone defence. That's a good control kick. Hammond uh, dropped the mark he should have taken and uh, probably uh, should have been penalised for what he did after the kick but uh, umpires didn't see it. For Stuka, outside 50, goes goalwards. Big pack of players. Bernardo almost took the slips catch at ground level. The ball uh, in dispute, 15 metres out from the goal square and uh, umpire said it's not coming out. So uh, he's put the whistle on play and we'll have the ball in the air. 23 minutes gone, final quarter. It's all over. Werribee Centrals are going to come out winners in this game as uh, a very good first quarter set it up for them, I believe. Bernardo doing the ruck work. Gets it down to uh, Camilleri. He slips as he tries to kick the footy. Umpire said, uh, give it back to me. We'll try and do it again. So... Uh, the ground probably more slippery than we believe, Laurie. It's lovely grass, but uh, players, either their footwear is not too good or, or the ground is more slippery yeah, than we it think. Yeah, might, might be just a little bit uh, slippery on the foot. I think their footwear is probably OK. They've got these modern shoes now. That's a shock. <laughs> From the tap down, it came to uh, Camilleri. He was under real pressure and his uh, kick forward, looking for the goals, but he's missed by a fair margin. Out of bounds on the full. And David Poposki will uh, bring the ball back into play when it arrives. As uh, Mark Bernardo stands the mark, 23 and a half minutes gone, final quarter. Popovsky to Popovsky, and Nick takes the mark. Uh, still only 25 metres out. Ooh. Now, uh, 
I think his uh, brother was going past. He's looking to uh, handball now. He does and uh, puts the shepherd on. So David Popovsky kicks to the middle of the ground. Simmons in front, runs inside 50. This used to be bread and butter for him, but he sprayed it again. And uh, gee, they've wasted some opportunities really where he on the day. It's another behind. 18, 16, 1, 24, Werribee Centrals, 12, 11, 83, Bell Post Hill, Buckley Centre Time and Centre Final Quarter Scoreboard, 24 and a half minutes gone. Ferzen leaves the ground, but the ball's been brought back into play. It's gone wide to Will Urquhart in the back pocket, who's chipped the ball further afield to Hammond. Hammond's still inside 50. It's the third kick now, when we've just got the ball out, but maybe cleans up. Oh, umpire, oh, it was pretty close, right there. pretty close there, I think, but uh, umpire says you've walked over the line, and I'll take possession. Well, the player was over. I don't know about the ball, Dale. Mm. Boundary umpire brings the ball back in. 50-metre arc we're playing at. Where in attack? Casino over the top. Doesn't win possession, but works hard at ground level. Can't get the free ball out, but it's tapped forward by foot by Urquhart. Goes to Wells, and the ball's on the ground. And we're going to have another ball up. Maybe the last bloke off the uh, carpet this time. He hasn't been too bad out there in the centre wing today. Ball goes up again. Holiday pushes uh, Olkowski under the ball. Lee McAuliffe cleans the ball up with it by hand, but he's tackled. Ball comes free to Casino. Casino gets a quick kick round the corner. Again, ball with in the hands of Werribee and Maybury. He goes towards centre half forward. Under the ball was Festuka. It's picked up and cleared by Belpost Hill. Caleb Bakley runs onto the ball. He takes possession. Is tackled Ooh. all by two Belpost Hill players. It was probably a bit strong, but uh, I don't know. I think that might have been an accidental uh, that one. But so look, like it's going to get a push and a shove here. Getting a bit rough and tough and ready. And at this stage of the game, I don't think either side will want to be involved in this. Jason Festuka's clashed heads, I feel yeah, sure. Yeah, well, he, he has. He's, he went straight for his own head. And the well, umpire's call played on anyway. That's the good way to separate everything. The ball's gone and Willie Urquhart cleans up and he goes forward quickly to Hardy. Inside 50 for Bell Post Hill. Ball's now on the half-forward line, but uh, Roland Beck takes possession of the ball. Ball's gone in and kicked off the ground by Hardy. Coming across as Wallace kicks the ball off the ground and goes wide to the boundary line, Jason and Simon fellows the ball over. Got a gash. It's a clash yeah. of heads, and young yeah. uh, Joseph Stuka leaves the ground, and young J Caleb Bakley's not too well either. He's coming straight off the ground. So just almost just come straight on, didn't he? Yeah, so. well, he's only just been on. He hasn't had a long run today, but... Um, I actually said I don't think it was a deliberate act, but it was a no, it's clash just, of heads. No, no, it's just the way uh, Festuka plays. He goes hard at the footy all the time, and uh, the young boy was in his road. And so from the throw in, the ball uh, tapped to the back of the pack. Uh, Belpo still half forward flank. Bit of the sting gone out of it now as the uh, ball back in the middle of the ground. As uh, Chug, he gets the footy, tackled high, and the umpire uh, puts a whistle and said, I'll ball it up. And I guess, uh, Laurie... The uh, few of these head-high tackles, if they'd given free kicks, you wouldn't have what's happened just before there. I reckon players get frustrated. Yeah, well, you've probably got a good point there. Ball uh, comes to ground in the middle of the ground. The uh, handball come out, Furman, he can't handle it. Picked up there by Urquhart. He quickly kicks towards half-forward for uh, the uh, bell post hill side. And uh, it's... Uh, Good effort there by uh, the Werribee defence. It's got the centre wing, all Werribee out there. And the ball going toward the boundary. Camilleri, he brings it back. Oh, a terrible kick. He set Norton a fair task, but uh, fortunately, he, uh, he's able to take the mark just inside the uh, 50 metre arc. A draw at the MCG, I hear, down the line. So they share the wooden spoon. So Carlton and uh, Essendon. <laughs> so in the meantime, we've got uh, James Norton. Having a shot for goal. It's a good looking kick off the boot and uh, offline again. So one goal, two off the boot of uh, James Norton. 18 goals, 17. 1 25. That's Werribee Central's 12 11 83 Bell Post Hill. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. 28 minutes gone. David Popovsky to bring the ball back in. We've gone a long time into the last quarter and he brings the ball out looking Ooh. for Wells. Ben Wells on the ground takes his. Takes or well, tries to take the mark, but chug over the top should win a free kick for a high tackle here and does so. He's just outside the 50 meter zone. Oh, I thought that was 50 meters, I thought it was his own play. I threw the ball back then, so uh, I watched it myself. Yeah, no, <laughs> as soon as I saw it, chug now looks to change direction, goes across the ground looking for Walsh. Walsh up in the air by himself, no contest there. And again, 
He takes a mark. He's probably 40 metres out. He'd be directly in front. Matt Welsh. What sort of player can this guy be for wearing him at St Albans? Welsh. He look, he's slow. Uh, he can take a mark, maybe. Uh, he positions himself well up, though, Laurie, I think. So he's uh, obviously got a good footy break. He knows the caper. Yeah. He gets a fair bit of the footy. What's he got? One five he's so far. Could have kicked five, kicked five, five one. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Last week in the winter, he had four, yeah, two, two exactly or three. Right. So, uh, he's got a big body. Matt Welsh, here he comes. Can he make it two goals, five the afternoon? That is a better looking kick, umpire. Oh, he goes across, but he he's says that's good day, enough that today. Boat. He likes to come back to the centre square. That's a goal to Matt Welsh. That's a good effort for him. In. And that's his second for the afternoon. That moves the Werribee side on to 19-17. They lead Bell Post Hill 12 goals, 11. 29 and a half minutes gone last quarter. Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard. So that the final quarter, the seven goals from Werribee's matched Bell Post Hill's third quarter scoreboard uh, with the Bruce Laurie. Unfortunately... Were be able to kick three against the Breeze. Belpo still only one in yeah. the second half. Yeah, it snuffed it out, didn't it? Joseph Stuka's is up and are going again. He's looking to come back onto the ground to finish the game out. Why, I don't need to know. But uh, anyway, that's what's happening. He's coming back in. The ball's in the centre of the ground. David Popovsky takes possession of the ball. He kicks the ball forward. Push and shove from Gillam and young Justin Tarr. Tarr wins it, but uh, can't take the mark. The ball's cleaned up by Kevin Leary. Handball comes back now. Wells picks up the ball off the ground. Goes round the corner by foot. Looking to find, I think it's uh, Popovsky out the far side with Lima, but Popovsky takes the ball now, runs in towards the goals, kicks it, goal, and that has gone through for a goal to David Popovsky. And that's a good goal from him as a normally a backman. And he's pushed forward and he's playing on the ball at the moment. He's kicked now Bell Post Hill 13 goals. They are now 13-11. They trail the Werribee side 19-17. And we've crossed over 30 minutes, so there have been long quarters here today. It's probably a consolation goal, Laurie, I imagine, but uh, like for Bell Pastel's perspective, they need to be seen to be finishing on. Oh, of course they do, there's no doubt about that. And uh, Poposky, uh, David, uh, when he goes forward, he, he plays well. I remember one day at Newark's Long, he went forward and uh, played very well. Collingwood 19, 13, West Coast 13, 12, and I think that might be a final score. So uh, Big Colling dick. Collingwood Woo. will be uh, having a front of stewards, wouldn't they? <laughs> their uh, their performance. Now as a uh, advantage free kick paid in the middle to uh, Werribee Central's for Stuka took the uh, ensuing kick. Oh, There's uh, terrific work there oh. by Chug, but uh, they couldn't get the ball through, and they rushed behind. Siren. As the siren sounds. So that's the uh, the final score here at uh, Galvin Park with the uh, home side, Werribee Centrals, 19 goals, 18, 132, defeating Bell Post till 13, 11, 89. So a comprehensive win uh, at the finish for the Werribee Central side. Goal kickers for the uh, winners, Brendan Chug kick five, two each to Mark Bernardo, Matt Welsh, Chris Gillam. Jason Festuka and Matt Watt. And one each to Matt Shannon, Warren Foley, Brad Mabry and James Norton. For Bell Pastel, three each to Josh Basley and Adam Wells. And one each to Will Urquhart, Luke Parker, Nathan Lewis, David Popovsky, Lee Holiday and Chris Morland, as well as Justin Tarr. So just repeating, here at Galvin Park, the final score shows... Werribee Central's 1918-132, defeating Bell Post Hill 13-11-89. We'll go to a break.